Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today I wanted to share with you a couple of lazy girl hairstyles. And what I mean by that is these hairstyles take two, three minutes, and you're ready to go. I am not that person who wants to spend 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes in the morning on my hair. I just wanna get it done and get on with the rest of my day. Now with that said, I don't think anybody has any room to judge anybody right now for not having their hair or makeup done. I mean, do you have any right to judge anybody in general for that? No, you don't. But right now in quarantine, I think we're all just trying to get by. But there is a time and a place right now when you do need to look a little more put together or maybe you just want to look a little more put together i tell you when i put a full face of makeup on and do my hair i do feel like a little more of a pep in my step and you know i'm kind of like yeah i have my makeup on i know i look good type of situation so things like this just kind of help and they don't take a long time so if you are interested in seeing a couple of lazy girl hairstyles to make you feel better go ahead and keep watching So I'm calling this a low sleek-ish bun because I'm not going to be obsessive about making sure my hair is glued to my scalp. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush my hair back and smooth that out with my hands. I will link every single ponytail I use down below as well. You want to make sure the ponytail is tight but not so tight that it's going to give you a headache throughout the day. So then I like to twist the ponytail to secure my layers as I start to form my bun. You can see I'm using my index, middle, and pointer fingers to hold the bun tight to my head as I form it. Sometimes I have to retwist the hair as I go along because it comes undone when I'm going in this circular bun motion. So you just want to make sure you're twisting in the same direction as you go around. So once I get to the point where the ponytail is completely tucked in, I'm going to grab these gigantic black hair ties and I'm going to use that to secure the bun. I prefer these hair ties because it allows me to wrap it around the bun three times, which really helps secure it so I don't need any kind of bobby pin. Of course, you could use a bobby pin if you wanted to, but I find this works really well and doesn't move throughout the day. So we all know how to put our hair in a high pony, so I'm going to start out by doing that. We are not going for a perfect look here, so don't worry if it's messy. Again, I'm really only going to use my hands to smooth this out. I personally think the messier the better with this one, so I'm even going to rough up the hair a little bit at the end and pull out some of my baby hairs. Then I'm gonna grab one of my satin bow tie scrunchies. I got this in a pack of six or so from Amazon, so I have a bunch of colors. And I'm just gonna secure that twice around my pony, and that is it. I know this is super simple, but it looks like you put a little more effort into just a basic high messy pony. Okay, so this one is kind of a mix of both of the hairstyles we just went through. Leaving my hair in that messy high pony, I'm just going to twist the hair and throw that into a high bun and secure it with that very large black hair tie once again. Then I'm just going to pop that same bow tie scrunchie right over it and I'm done. Again, just a really easy messy bun that looks like you put more effort into than you really did. So I'm starting out by parting both sides of my hair from the arch of my eyebrow and then I'm going to brush the hair back into a half pony and secure that with a clear elastic.
Using that same twisting method from the low sleek-ish bun, I'm gonna secure that with a small elastic once I have all of the hair tucked in. And you know, I find everybody has a different way of doing their own bun, so feel free to use whatever method works for your hair type and your hair texture. This twisting method just so happens to work really well for me. As you can see, I always kind of pull on the bun and rough it up a little bit to shape it, but I don't pull too much. Otherwise, I'll have little hairs pop out from my layers. So just pull slightly to form and shape how you want it. Then I like to pull all my hair to the front and this looks so good with big loose waves. I like to braid my hair when it's wet the night before and do this and I like it even more. Looks good with straight hair as well, but really looks good with curls. So I saved the best and also most challenging, but also still easy for last. I'm gonna start by parting my hair and French braiding both sides. I like to secure one side so I don't accidentally pull the hair into the other side as I braid. If you can't French braid, you can either just braid it or put your hair into pigtails. I promise you once you get the hang of French braiding, it's really not that hard and it makes this look extra cool. You're gonna wanna stop braiding and secure the hair as soon as it starts to lift off of the head. And I have the world's most sensitive scalp, which is why it's red when I do this, but just ignore that. And fun fact, I did all of these hairstyles without a mirror, which is why I have that annoying piece of hair in the way there. But I'm just gonna pull that to the side and once both sides are braided, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and apply that same twisting the hair method that we did with the low bun and then secure it with a hair tie. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and pull on each bun to rough them up and make them look a little bit bigger. So that is it for this one. I hope you found this video somewhat helpful, entertaining, but most of all, I hope that it helps you get ready quicker in the morning so you could spend some more time with your family, your friends, and your loved ones. If you have any questions, as always, let me know down below. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Hey.